Don't be evil. It's Google's unofficial motto and an anagram of boned to live. But are we boned to live with Google in our lives? Google is a polarizing entity. Some diehard supporters consider it the savior of innovation, while cynics paint Google as a digital big brother. Now, using only two different t-shirts, I will attempt to determine once and for all whether or not Google lives up to its famous vow. In 2011, G-Men hit about $10 billion in an offshore bank account, avoiding about $2 billion in unpaid taxes. Oh, and their CEO even bragged about it. And they did nothing illegal. You would brag about it too if you were that smart. You're aware I'm you, right? Meanwhile, Google has worked with Charity Technology Trust to bring over 30,000 different charities to the national spotlight. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so Google has raised money for charities and pocketed tax dollars. Kinda levels out. Self-driving cars. Google is bringing us the future, people wake up. Oh, fun fact, the only time one of these cars has ever been in an accident was when there was a person behind the wheel. Micho Black never had to happen. You're welcome, again. And I'm sure Big Brother Buggy will store every single text message and email that I send. Were you aware that Gobble Street View cars have not so secretly been collecting every bit of data they can soak up? Oh, and the FCC, United States Justice Department, and agencies in about 10 different countries aren't happy about it. In Google's defense, most of that information came from public networks anyway. So if you don't want Google to know that you watch furry porn in the local library, that's really not their fault. You're me. You know we don't watch that shit. Okay, Google Analytics is probably the most helpful service offered online. It helps you track your stats, know your demographic in and out, and make your site better every day. You're welcome, again, again. Stop saying you're welcome, and analytics won't do shit if Google keeps rigging their searches. Ever notice how Google properties are always the first to come up in a search? <laughs> Not a coincidence. Come on, that's like the tabloids complaining that the New York Times won't run their celebrities who got fat article. Hey, if you're the kid at the playground who makes the rules because he brought the football, then yeah, you're kind of automatically an ass. You're an ass. I, we, we're an ass. And while we're talking about competition, were you aware that between October of 2010 and now, Grogle has acquired an average of a company a week. Stop it with the shitty puns, and you just said acquired all sinister. There's nothing sinister about acquiring. Just because something is big and successful doesn't mean it's evil. And personally, I like the stuff that Google does. Google Glass? A computer in your glasses? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Goodbye privacy. Imagine data miners tracking your eye movements. Your eyes linger a little too long on someone's drink, and all of a sudden you've got 12 pop-up ads for infinite hour energy, an energy shot that keeps you awake around the clock, so Google apps can use your brain waves as fuel for their war machines. Oh, and Google Plus sucks. How dare you say that to my face at my apartment tonight around 7.30 with a bottle of wine? Maybe I will, and maybe I'll be so angry I'll forget to not have my dick out. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Well, that got weird. So yes, Google is a normal company that does good things and bad things. And all the annoying Google lovers and haters should probably just f***ing get it over with already. Roll sound. Roll cameras. And action. Hey guys, I'm Brendan. I run the YouTube channel and I read a lot of the comments and I just wanted to say, who hurt you? Do you need a hug? Should I hug? I'm gonna hug you.